Hey, guys. Hey, good morning. Good afternoon. Whatever. Um, listen, my live stream this morning in the truck uh, got truncated at seven minutes. That was YouTube doing their job because it was very murky, I guess. Uh, so I tried. I tried to go live this morning and I forgot to make coffee. So let me tell you, it was a very interesting morning when I realized I never made coffee because I always have coffee with y'all. So it's kind of funny, but this is the afternoon summary. I, I'm, I'm leaving that behind. We're moving forward. I will be live at five. I'm going to load this and then you can listen to this and then I'll see you at live at five. My husband's working until 715. So I'm going to make him dinner tonight. We're going to have a later dinner. And anyways, we had a great day. I have the best people on the planet. Thank you, Rebecca. I'm going to share something she sent me this morning. Uh, thank you. I have the best crew on YouTube. So if you're in the dinar or you're in crypto or you're in any of these parts of the wealth transfer, the four waves of wealth transfer, as the good Lord said to me, if you're a Christian or if you're just woo-woo, I don't care. If you're into manifesting the wealth transfer, please join us. Please subscribe and tap the bell because we're a collective group of happy, positive people. We go live at five. We're going to have a cocktail probably on my porch because it's a sunny day. Um, and we just share what we know. I have a unique intel source. I'm going to start with him. It's a lot of intel. Then I'm going to go into the summary of everybody else. I'm going to try to get it all done. So now here we go. So buckle up, Buttercup. Again, my name is Melanie. You can check out my content. I have 4,500 videos for free. Please check them out. I have a lot of information on so you can check and see out who I am. So They've been working internationally, Iraq has. Constantly, we see articles with Turkey and all these different contracts. First, they moved from uh, memorandums of understanding when they were over here in the U.S., 17 of them to be exact. And then they went to, all of a sudden, they're doing contracts with people that are doing business right now in Iraq. So we think maybe it's already done inside the country, right? But they're just keeping a lid on it. So now we see another article, Egypt, now Ireland, next. Um... There's a welcome ceremony for the Prime Minister al Sudani in the Egyptian city of Alamina. So that's happening. Um, Ireland now. Also, they're working with Ireland. They are truly an international currency, but they don't have an international value yet. So we wait. We wait. But we're grateful because the Holy Spirit said it's already done. And anytime God prophesies something to the future, he lives outside of time. I did a whole teaching on this. Release the time. It's God's timing. When he says it's done, you have to trust that it is done. So if you want to be a part of a family that believes it's done and we're walking by faith to prepare for it to be done, then you'll subscribe and tap the bell. Um, so they are getting in and out. They are getting them all in and out of parliament. Guys, they're going after the crooks. Why? Because of this state-of-the-art digital banking and electronic payment system. Kaboom! It's, we call it the QFS on the right over here. and We're so excited. It's already here. Guys, they're already using it. That's how they're able to prosecute whatever's going on over here in the U.S., which is murky and mysterical. Supposedly, this, this uh, I'll read a little bit about that, too, later after we're done with the intel for Iraq. Um, arrest warrants are issued for Nizar and Halim al Jabouli. They're arresting people. Discussions with NATO. First round of NATO dialogue with Iraq ambassador in Brussels. They are in line with all the muckety-mucks that are controlling everything. If you're not aware of it, it's the Bank of International Settlements. It's the banking system. It's the central banking systems. I've maintained for a while now that I think the Central Bank of Iraq, all they got to do is release it. And all the inf based on all the information I've been researching, um, I believe that's true. The bank is truly in control. Um, so if you doubt that, just keep hanging on. Um, so lots of visiting going on too. Um, officially welcomes the ceremony for the prime minister in the Egyptian city of Alamina, right? And then things are progressing for the country on an international scale. Al Iraq encourages these countries to return their citizens from wherever they are. The citizens are returning to Iraq. Why? The war is over. They've cleaned up all the terrorists. They continue to clean up all the terrorists. They're making all their borders with other uh, Middle Eastern countries safe. Iraq is truly a shining pinnacle of how a, how a nation can come back and with a good leader have a great future. So I'm excited about the future of Iraq. I love the leadership of Iraq. I just did a quick summary. We'll do more details if you want to drill into any of those details. Come to my live chat tonight at 5 and we'll drill into whatever you need and then look at the, the latest as well. 
So now we're going to move over to the summary of everybody else. Here in the U.S., there's a big group of Intel people that are looking at this, and everybody knows them. Mark Z's number one, and it says, I am certainly hearing we are just waiting for the switch to be pulled, and this is going to be an amazing week, and we are going to see great things. Rumors are bouncing all over, even with the groups, but substantial news is a little slim. From the group leaders, there are tons of rumors about their, the immediacy of this thing, including the rumors that money is being positioned and that they will start doing smaller groups as early as today. But until we can substantiate them, right now it's all just rumors. Um, we will wait and see what happens before we get excited. Things are certainly heating up here, according to Mark. Samson, article, Theft of the Century Draws Transparency International Baghdad. What does that mean? Because of the digital systems, they know who committed the theft. Everything's been run in parallel for a long time. Now it's all active, especially in Iraq. And they're, they're actually prosecuting people based on it. So booyah for security and stability and also for the value of our investment. It's all working out for our good, the people holding the Iraqi dinar. If you're one of them, please comment down below. I'm excited. Be excited. Frank 26 article, is Iraq heading towards printing new currency? It says, one of the executive levels of Iraqi bank told us, don't pay attention to this. It doesn't make any sense. We spent over $50 million in printing the lower notes. We're not printing. They did it back in 2018. I, a lot of people have commented on it. I was one of them. Um, when a country has high inflation, you print more currency, you add more zeros. Our inflation is 1%, maybe even less than 1%. We already printed the currency. We want the lower notes. It's already done, guys. They're ready. All they need to do is a new rate. That's where they're going to delete the zeros. The currencies have already been printed. They're going to delete the zeros, get a new rate, and everything's going to go a lot smoother for them. And if you agree with that, comment amen down below. Walking stick, Iraqi bank manager in Dearborn, Michigan update. A key talks to CBI, and he knows what's going on. He was very surprised. We have not yet asked him about the pictures that are being shown on Iraqi television of the lower notes. We trust a key very much. Every time a key shares something, it comes out. Militia man, pay attention to what goes on in New York City in the next 24 to 48 hours. Why? I think the governor of the central bank is here, wants his money back. <laughs> Federal Reserve, U.S. Treasury, whoever's holding it, I think he's going to get it. What do you think? <laughs> Comment down below. It's a fun time to be invested in this. I'm just saying, it's a fun time to watch this. It really is. It's just fun being invested in this. I thank, I thank the good Lord for getting me into this when he did back in June of 2012 when my business was going through a lot thanks to a malignant narcissist. So we're also recoverers here. We're nice people that have recovered from other people taking advantage of us way too long and we finally wised up and we have healthy boundaries here. So if you need to learn healthy boundaries because you've been screwed by people too long and you're done, please subscribe, tack the bell. We will welcome you in. We're stronger all because of it, amen? So we would love to have you. Uh, Mountain Goat says article, is it time to remove the zeros? Okay, that's from the exchange rate. Get your numbers straight. If not, get on my live. I'll show you my board and I'll explain it all to you. If you need financial explanation, I'm your girl. Just saying. Um, article quote, with the use of electronic payment operations, what did I say? It's all because of the banking system. The environment will be mature and acceptable for the idea of implementing the decision to delete the zeros and the process will be automatic without the citizen feeling it. The CBI wants this event to be almost transparent and smooth to the citizens. The solution is to digitize. Then this will enable them to switch out the currency almost seamless to the citizens. They must implement the digitization program first in all banks. Iraq is optimistic in getting the electronic initiative completed sooner than later. They are not talking about years. Ernst and Young, the auditors that usually oversee project, special projects like that, have already been over there. They were at a meeting just this week with, with Al Sudani. So I think that's already done, and they're probably doing the last checks. It's already done, guys. By the time it hits the news, it's already done. I'm just saying. Um, let's see. Samson. Um, oh, this is yesterday. We're not going to go into yesterday. I did a summary yesterday. Um, let's see. Militia man, this was yesterday too. Iraq is the ninth largest buyer of gold in 2024. That bears repeating. Um, they had 132 tons in 2023. In 2024, they're telling you they just bought 100 tons of gold this year. Where did they get all the money for that? All of a sudden, they have enough money to buy it at $2,500 an ounce, 100 tons. You got to go, what? What does it do? It What it does is it supports the value of their future real effective exchange rate. So be excited. 
Um, guys, this is so good. This news is so good. It, it's just amazing to me. Also, somebody that, um, let's say his initials. Oh, shoot. I just closed the link that I had opened up. OMG. That was a major fail. Uh, somebody named, let's see, this morning. Hold on. I got to go find it now. Um, and I'm not editing this, guys. I don't have the time today or the energy because I just don't. Um, okay. Supposedly, there's some kind of emergency activation that may or may not be going on. Have you heard that? Comment down below. Also, they're talking about Nasara. Jasara has been unleashed. Have you seen it? Have you seen any supernatural debt cancellation other than the debt cancellations done by the strategies that I recommend that I rep here on my channel? Um, what do you think? What are you seeing? Comment down below if you're seeing evidence of Nassar and Jassar being unleashed. It has to be unleashed for them to switch systems. You know, you need to know that's part of it. And I explain it all to my Miracle Manifestations. Evidently, quantum cards are revealed. Of course, guys. New system. You need a new card. You need a new, a brand new system. You're going to need a quantum card. You don't have to go anyplace special to get it. In the U.S., there's all sorts of scams. All sorts of people taking advantage of this switch. This switch. To, to buy your currency low and sell it high. Buy low, sell high. That's a game in the capitalist country of America. Just be aware of that. Just know I provide three steps to a safe exchange. You don't have to put yourself at risk in those ways. So if this relates to you in any way, pinned in the comment, you can see how you can get a hold of me. I love you all, guys. That's into the summary. I Like I said, I had something else up. I was going to maybe read to you, but maybe it wasn't meant to be. All I can tell you is I did listen to Phil G's call and I fell asleep to it because <laughs> I was up in the middle of the night. For those of you who saw, that's why I'm kind of tired. Um, but the Lord always gives me the energy to do what I need to do. And uh, I woke up and he said the RV is done. So I don't know. I'm getting confirmation from every way, shape and form. This morning when I put my contact in, I thought something was funny. I took it out. There was a double lens in there. That's never happened double portion. There's all sorts of things going on, guys. Just just trust that it is done. If you believe it's done, comment it is done down below. Or even if you don't, comment it is done down below. Because you're telling God you really do believe me. He spoke through me, guys. I've got plenty of confirmations from the word, from the journals, from somebody sent me a prophetic word today that said you're about to become a millionaire. You know? <laughs> Leave the time to God. I love you all. And looking at them, Jesus said, with people, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. That's Matthew 19, 26. I leave you with that. Have a great day. I look forward to seeing you on a live chat. And like I said, I'll be live at five today. That's about two hours from now or 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you're watching this later. Peace. And it's the 27th of August today, just so you know. Bye.